Hi guys, it's me, Dan, and I'm so excited because today I have a very awesome one thing, awesome something, awesome thing to unbox. If the hat has any indicators, it is, why well, yes of course, the Jeffree Star Halloween Mystery Box. And obviously it's the Supreme one because I was doing how I want to do academically this semester, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna just treat myself and get the big old box. So super excited. Can't wait to see what's inside. On first impression, we have the beautiful bright orange tracksuit, which I think was from the summer collection this year. Quote me if I'm wrong, because I very well could be wrong. I ordered this in a, in a small, because I thought it was men's sizing or like unisex sizing, so I hope a small fits. But it seems like the small should fit. Should is the key word there. Should is the very important key word. And then next we have the prom night vinyl, which I don't know where I'm going to put this, but I'll find a place for it somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, we have a metal reusable straw in the nice orange shade. So there's a little theme here, I think, but I mean, obvious, right? Also, cool thing is, is the straw comes with a straw cleaner. So if you have any metal reusable straws, that's really important to make sure you don't get grubby bacteria growth. And then it is the Velour Lipstick Mini Bundle. And this is the red shades. Yeah, it's the red shades. So I'm super excited about this because if I actually like some of these colors, like Red Room and Anna Nicole, I'll actually be able to go back and buy the full size ones. So that's super exciting. Which, again, I'm not wearing lipstick right now because I'm waiting to get to the special color for the mystery boxes. Because, if we remember, there was two, one of two limited colors coming in the box. So, can't wait. Then we have a Supreme Frost. This one is in Caramel Kiss. Caramel Caramel Kiss. Caramel Caramel. Eh, tomato, tomato. And inside here, it is like a bronzy shade, I'd say bronzy i might give it to my mom she actually has like a nice tan so this is a color that would look really good on her on my pale body is kind of not the right way to watching it like it's just sticking to my finger more than it actually is going somewhere but is it gonna focus no hmm. that's what happens when you film on a cell phone because you don't have a proper camera hi it's me the struggle of my life Lots of stuff from the summer collection, it seems, so far. And then this is the lip scrub in Cucumber Mint, which, again, I think this packaging, summer collection. Quote me if I'm wrong. Could very well be wrong. And I don't really know what this smell is like. I can't really get this open. Hello? Help? Mom? Somebody? Anybody? Help? And it is... Not very minty. I have the vanilla mint from the Blue Blood Collection launch thing, whatever, and it's super, super minty, but it smells great. So this is more on the lighter side. So I definitely say if you're like sensitive to fragrances, this would be great for you, but you still want like a good lip scrub. Keep that in your mind. What else is in here? This is one of his Velour Liquid Lipsticks in the shade Venus Flytrap, which is like a green. I don't know if I'll use this every day or frequently, but I'll definitely find a purpose for it. Simply because it's too cool not to find a purpose for. I guess everyone's swatching on their hands now, so let's do it that way. Oh yeah, that's that's a green. It might work for an eyeliner, because I know some people use eye liquid lipsticks as eyeliner, so I'll have to try that, because I really do enjoy colorful eyeliner just to try and have fun with. Then what else? We have the Scorpio is the shade, and it's one of his lip liners. See, I've never really used lip liners in my entire life, so I'm interested to see how they'll go. Oh, this is like a nice mauve shade, so it's kind of really neutral, and I don't hate that. Also, one of my best friends in real life is a Scorpio, so this is great. Also, 
I love this packaging. Like, look at this components. This is someone who puts a lot of thought and care into this construction, construction and designs of his products. Next, we have one of his lip ammunitions from his summer collection. I actually have one from the summer collection, and it is candy-free, so it's like a pink metallic, but it looks really like a neutral pink on me, just because so pale, but I love it. So this is actually in shade Yummy, which isn't one that I have, so that's exciting. Not getting a color that I already have, and oh, these smell amazing. So Yummy is obviously like a purple in the tube. But I love them because they're a sheer pigment and then basically just glitter. And this one, you can't really see, but it's definitely more of like iridescent purplies. Purplies? Iridescent purple. So, love that. Next, we have this. What is this? <gasps> oh, I'm so glad. I wanted to order this when the Jawbreaker collection launched. I wanted to order a lot of stuff from it, but hi, I didn't. I waited, and looky here. Well, waiting got me. It got me the mini Jawbreaker palette. <gasps> Ooh, I'm so excited because of all these purple shades right here because obviously purple is my favorite color. Let me just swatch Orange Crush because that's one that I'm super excited for, and Bite Me. Also, these are both like shimmery metallic shades. I think that's what the, the world of makeup calls them. Let's give it a little swatch, shall we? <gasps> oh, child, you can't really see that pigment, but oh, child, she is there. She is here. She is ready to play. <gasps> and they're so buttery, like so excited. Why did I put that back in the box? Definitely would recommend buying this, though, if you didn't get one of these mystery boxes, like through and through. Now, let's see. This came in one of two colors, and I got it in Zombie Kiss, which is supposed to be a purple metallic, I think. Also, it says shake well before use, so I guess I'll read the product's packaging instruction for once versus just winging it. And it doesn't say that this one has any fragrance added to it, so I'm interested to see if it is possibly scented or not. And I'm actually going to apply this because I'm just so excited to see... It smells like makeup, so I was about to get excited for just the smell of makeup. I don't know why I didn't open the mirror to apply this, but it's fine. And this is just one dip in the tube. Oh, I messed up big time. It's fine. Nothing a little, little TLC can't fix, you know? Oh, little TLC. Ooh, I actually like that. With Halloween right around the corner... This is going to be a fun shade for that. Also purple, as I said, one of my favorite colors. And I happen to match my bat right here from the Build-A-Bear collection of last year. Love this. We'll probably get a lot of use out of this, despite the fact that it's purple. So, so glad I got the purple color. And then my favorite part, and honestly the part that I was most excited for with the mystery boxes, which is one of his star mirrors. And this is, based on the sticker, the orange one. So let's take a look-see, shall we? And it is! Oh, I'm so, uh, I love this shade of orange. I'm a Fire It's fan, so any shade of orange, I'm here for. And, oh, love it. Actually, saying I used a phone camera as my mirror, I could have done a worse job applying that lipstick. But my final thought is that buying this box was a great idea because I got some of these clothing pieces and pieces that I've really looked at getting but hesitated to buy. So overall, I'm really excited about that. However, kind of intrigued and curious as to why there was so much from the summer collection involved. But again, that's what you get in mystery boxes. So am I disappointed? No. Will I definitely be getting the other mystery boxes from this launch later this year? Absolutely. So that is all. We'll see how this goes. Until next time, it's me, Dan.